just the, the work you've done and how it's changed since last time we saw each other? Uh, yes. Uh, last time when I visit this time, I bring, I brought my typewriter f as an instrument. But in that time, I just used amplifier to control some motors or something. But this time, I bring Arduino without amplifier because uh, amplifier is I I need at least three or four amplifier, but it's quite heavy to bring. But this time I used Arduino and it's been changed, so it's more right. And then I, but I'm not good at Arduino. I just start to using Arduino about one more than one month, so <clears throat> I'm not good at this. So I. Visit, I visit time for develop this with people in time, and I ask it. Ah, I mean, basically I made my own things, but it's quite simple. But there are still many problems, especially electricity problem, and yeah, there are looks simple, but I cannot understand too many things about this. To develop this, and she provide some more nice solutions. Of, I mean, better solution to using this typewriter. So now you saw the little bit. I don't know if it develop it or not, but yeah, I, I'm happy with it. Yes. So it's finished. What you want to make Uh, almost, but. I need <coughs> more uh, stable things because this when I tour like with this is too unstable, very easy to broken. Yeah, still open, but I don't know how to <laughs> make it in stable. So maybe Mariah can help me to this. Basically, I'm using this typewriter. Within your circuit? Yeah. Already? Mm. Okay. Um, can you explain the sound particle method? Uh, it's a... Uh, when I met... Oh my god, I, I cannot remember. But, uh, yeah. LIG Art Hall in Seoul organized concert for three musicians, me and Jun, Young Jun and Swan. And then they want to uh, expand this kind of music uh, in Seoul to outside of Korea. So in that time, Young Jun was people in time and I already know time and I know DJ Snip and other people. So we suggest to and I suggest and recommend to arrive at all about time. So after that the people in arrive at all connect with time and they organize concert for Korean sound artist and then some artists from time in Seoul and then now we are coming here to to exchange ideas and activities this kind of thing and now uh, maybe next year it's a sound triangle meaning Korea Seoul and Netherlands, it's time, and then England, sound and music, 
So next year we should go to England and LIG will invite some artists in England to Korea. So we will do corporate, uh, collaboration. What are you guys doing at SMART? Uh, uh, could you maybe talk a little bit about your trip here, like all the things you did? Here? Yeah. Oh, I do not <laughs> anything. Just eating and sleeping and coming to this studio to concentrate it on my works. Uh, and, and I really hope to do recording in here because this studio is quite nice. This studio is really what I hope to take. Yes, it's quite, I mean, perfect for me to concentrate on the, my works. So I don't want to waste my time because in Seoul, I have to do too much works without payment and uh, some works is not related in my works uh, related with my works just for earn the money or to keep my life so it's quite hard to concentrate on my own works and I don't have a studio so yes when when I'm thinking about if I can go to the time again I'm using my whole of my time only to work, uh, only to concentrate my works. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Finish it.
Maybe I'll get, um, after I ask you questions, I'll just get another shot from you, too. Okay. Hello. Okay, can you tell me what, uh, how your instrument has changed since I saw you last time? Mm, well, uh, last time I used CD players, but this time I brought a VCR, a video tape player. Uh, it's not... I changed my instrument. I I used this uh, like seven years ago, but I stopped playing it. I almost forgot about it, but I discovered it like three months ago, and I felt like playing again. And and when I played seven years ago, I just played. It uh, by this output, uh, this is not a sound up or audio output. It's a visual output, and the visual output goes into the mixer. So, so it's basically the sound of the visual, and and as I touch the head spinning, and it changes the sound. But uh, when I found uh, this this time I uh, used acoustically like uh, Hong Chergi uses turntable I thought uh, it spins much faster than turntable and it makes a little different sound and so uh, I really like the sound of acoustic the sound of this motor makes Sound that, um, the video sound is that, mm, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's so cool. Do you miss your CD player or do you like this one better? Uh, um, actually, I have CD players in my bags too, and I use it for performances. And and I'm not going to use VCR for performance because uh, I'm still. Uh, not used to it, actually. So I brought this time to really uh, work on it. So mm, and it, yeah. Um, I don't really miss my CD players because, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kind of tired of it actually. So yeah, this could be my next instrument when my CD players all broke. <laughs> Wait, um, and so what are you doing at Stein with the VCR? Are you just learning how to play it or are you making mistakes? Um, yeah, um, just learning how to play. Um, yeah, I want to do circuits later, but uh, it's too soon to do it right now. Yeah, not knowing what I can do, so maybe next time I'll do some kind of circuit. You can come in. It'll look cool on the video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it spins so fast that sometimes I, I cut my finger. Yeah. Well, we play twice. Actually, <coughs> once in time is just for a presentation for students from uh, music university in Utrecht. And second one was in Notre Dame at Warm. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Mm. The Warm was really, yeah really cool place <laughs> it's very impressive 
and tomorrow we go to Colin. So I'm very looking forward to being there. And then what? And then we go to Mastri. Mm. On Tuesday? No, uh, actually uh, we play at Colin and on Monday and mm, next day we have presentation at KHM. And then we go to Maastricht and we come back here. And the last concert uh, will be at Smart Project Space. Yeah. And so that's, that's it for Netherlands. And Chergy and I go to Brussels. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, After this? Yeah. Just for one, one show. And and then we go to Italy. What? Yeah. Can you guys come here to Brazil? Oh, you Brazil. Said... <laughs> oh, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's Brazil. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So it's it's like the uh, beginning of this tour. Grinder. Yeah. 
Yeah, we are, yeah, 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 we're not sure about the, uh, the other two, yeah, yeah. June and, and this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to play without until...
<laughs> no, basically the same. I didn't need the power. <laughs> Uh, basically not that, not that different <laughs> because uh, I'm still playing with the acoustic uh, turntables but of course this time uh, even without the the power part <laughs> uh, I started this kind of s playing uh, just because sometimes uh, organizer cannot uh, they couldn't get the, the proper turntable but uh, I'm always uh, touring with the platter because I don't want to hurt other people's platter. Yeah. So I was in sometimes. I, so I was in the situation without turntable. So I, yeah, I had no choice but to play with the stuff I have on tour. Yeah. That's cool. And then um, is that is that what you're gonna do at Mars? Oh. Maybe, but yeah, but but we have to table here, so <laughs> you can keep your hands free. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, what are you so what are you working on here at Sun? Uh, actually, I'm working on more uh, uh, much more louder stuff. Actually, this is for just my uh, improvisation setup, but uh, I'm 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 doing uh this much look more normal but uh, with a lot of uh, distortion pedals and it's, it is very loud and violent noise stuff and I'm, uh, I'm yeah I'm, I'm working on recording this stuff for, for material I will use for other project so what's this stuff? Pure for recording? oh pure recording okay. yeah yeah so yeah basically I'm doing recording here Uh, yeah, actually, we 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 did release the recording from our last visit in January. Oh, yeah, it's it's yeah, it's now it's it's out now. Yeah, and uh, also, I'm not sure, but I will use the rec material I recorded here for some other collaboration project with other noise musician. Um, the plastic mm-hmm Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. You like that one? Yeah, actually, uh, I I started to play with uh with the crazy feedback stuff, and I started to make noise music. Like, yeah, so I think I'm uh I have a big uh, imprint or something in my ear. So I always hear that kind of sound. I feel very uh, comfortable and very uh, yeah. I, I feel I feel like uh, I, I'm very pleased to hear that actually. So, but uh, it is not easy to make that uh, sound with the with the PA system or amplifier in the venue, especially in Korea because uh, the owners they are very afraid of me uh, blowing their amplifiers and PA so uh, and also it's all every time it's all different because feedback is really hard to c control so uh, I still doing that kind of stuff very loud piercing noise but on the other hand I started to do things I can control more but also of course you cannot play it in a in it you cannot play it in a huge venue but but very small room with the close audience, but still, yeah, very similar kind of quality. So. Do you think uh, the Dutch audience is able to uh, appreciate the the sounds like the high piercing sounds versus the Korean audience? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's. Uh, yeah, in Korea, people. Not, uh, people don't hate me that much actually <laughs> with that sound. So they, I, I think they they hate me more for the uh, louder part. Yeah. 
with tons of guitar amps and <laughs> crazy feedback. And you don't mind, uh, do you like it when people hate you? Yeah, I, I, <laughs> actually, uh, it, I, mm, when I start to make this kind of stuff, uh, I didn't realize I, I kind of enjoy it, but I didn't know, know, know that. But now I realized um, that's that, that's very important part of my music, yeah. And also I try to uh, intentionally and consciously provoke the audience, yeah. Of course, I'm my character is not really like that, so yeah, I try to really hard. I try, yeah, I have to try really hard. And it's like your hardcore fans who are like, yeah, and <laughs> you you get pleasure in that. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. Um, if I see more people doing like this, uh, I feel more I, I'm, I'm I'm successful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's only for the the very loud noise set. Yeah, yeah. This this stuff is very different. Yeah, I I, I apply very different principle for this kind of stuff. No, it's interesting because it's just noises that you just never hear, you know, or you never mm -hmm. would consider with performance and, and music. Hmm? But you, you, it's the sounds that you don't consider with performance and music, but you've taken it and made it into mm -mm. So I always, I think that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always like the work that you guys do. It's just like really like you don't see stuff like that here. Yeah, you especially call this kind of stuff as uh, inferior sounds. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, and, and that that also that's the title of our CD just out of uh, with the with the recording from here in January. Yeah. It's called Inferior Sounds. Yeah, Inferior Sounds. Because uh, even in the experimental music, people tends to yeah, it, it's my, not my logic, he, his logic. People tends to find some very polished and very well planned electronic music. Yeah. Which has become very superior <laughs> to the other sound, like like this, yeah. So, yeah. <coughs> but I think I I agree with him when he's he's saying that uh, no, the sense of noise is more like this, not not uh, well not well made electronic music, experimental music. Yeah. Um, how are the Dutch people in in Korea? How was time in Korea? Oh uh, yeah, it was great. It was great. Oh, uh, actually, uh, the the show with two nights was very um, with uh, with uh, with variety in a good meaning, yeah, because uh, we are more like we are not that uh, our music is not that I I know we are mu our music is not that accessible for the, the Korean audience, but. From the Stein musicians, yeah, people people that more uh, easy way to appreciate this kind of stuff. I You're think. calling Stein mainstream. Hmm? You're calling Stein mainstream. <laughs> mainstream. <laughs> mainstream? <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Cool. And also, yeah, <laughs> I don't think it, this is for the interview, but Taku said he he considered that that part. That aspect too, when he select the artist, right. yeah. 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 I mean to also open. Um, I mean he's gonna get a crowd in that will want to see kind mm -hmm. of more acceptable stuff, but then you guys will also be. Um, they will be more open-minded to mm. more underground. Yeah. Yeah. If, yeah. In fact, uh, we are not that uh, narrow-minded actually, but uh, we just. Had a chance to listen to that kind of stuff that that influenced us. So yeah, it was it was good for us too. Yeah, to saw these artists from Stein and doing very different stuff. Yeah. Cool. That's great. Thank you. Okay. Is it okay if I play a little bit loud? Yeah, of course. Okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs>